it'll be what it is and it'll be fun. This will make sense, maybe. When you topple over, you topple over. Let's try to tie it all together. All right, we're back for another movement session. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time, listen to your body, move within your limitations, feel it out, see where you're at. Have a bottle of water with you, possibly a towel, and we'll get going. So I think this week we'll do some rolling around, because we always have to roll with the punches, roll with the changes, and deal with shit. So let's scoot back and get going. So with our legs extended, sitting up nice and tall, inhale the arms up, then we'll exhale, fold. Inhaling up, exhale, fold. Inhale up, exhale, fold. Inhaling up, I'm just gonna bring my right ear to my right shoulder and then switch left ear, left shoulder. Switching sides. If there's a part feels a little extra crinkly or needs a little extra stretch, feel free to hang out on that side. We're going to bring our chin to our chest, the legs can stay out stretched, and then I'm going to lift the chin, looking up. As I look up, I'm going to open my shoulders, and as I look down, maybe I round my back. I'm going to take my hands inside my thighs and kind of pull so I can drive my back towards the back, and round my spine like a cat, and then inhale, like cow pose, lift my chest, lift my chin, and then round. Inhaling up, and we'll exhale round. Yeah, I'm just going to swing my knees to the back, come up to a kneeling position. Feet can be flat or toes engaged, whatever is comfortable. I'm gonna interlace my fingers and stretch them out front, reaching them up, and then placing them behind my head. I'm gonna roll through, dipping the elbow, rounding the back, lifting the elbow, lifting the chest, articulating the spine as we roll through. And we'll switch directions. Good. We're going to bring that cat cow kind of posture to this. So sitting up nice and tall. I'm going to bring my elbows forward and around my back. Like I'm doing a little crunch. Then inhale, lift the chest, lift the chin, press into the hands, so rounding, inhaling, and round, and lift, and one more. Good. From here, I'm just going to bring my chin to my chest. Let my head hang. I'm still going to try to keep my spine nice and tall. And then I can encourage that chin to chest with a hand. Or two. Releasing that, 
can inhale the arms wide and up. And then I'm going to pull the elbows down and back. And send the left arm across the chest, wrapping it with the right. And looking over that shoulder. I'm going to try to keep the shoulder down so I'm not dipping. Sitting up nice and tall. We'll release, sweeping the arms. Elbows come down. And we'll shoot the right arm across, left arm hooks. Looking to the right. Again, trying to bring that shoulder down, not tipping with the arm. You can be energetic through the fingers. And we'll do one more each side. So as I release, wide lift, pull it down, opposite side, left arm across, right arm hooks. And we'll release, swinging the arms. Pulling it down, right arm across, left arm hooks. Good. Coming to our tabletop hands and knees position. Going to step the right leg out to the side. And I'm going to roll the toes up as I sit back towards my heel. You can have your bottom foot flat or toes tucked, whatever you want to work on. Coming back to tabletop, opposite side steps out, and I'm going to rock back. As I do, I'm going to windshield wiper those toes towards the ceiling. And we'll switch sides. Toes down, opposite side outstretched, and rock. Feeling our way up, why not? We'll lift up. Windshield wipe with the toes. Come down to our knees. Reset tabletop. Opposite side out. Toes rock up as I shift back. And we'll hang out here for again for another couple moments. So if you want to slide your foot out, really get that stretch going. Feel free. We'll peel up like we did, lift, pulling it in, kneeling. Good. Let's, because we're going to roll a lot, or hopefully, we're going to kind of do a thread the needle, but I'm going to send my arm through my legs, placing that shoulder on the floor. So I'm going to take my right arm, so my right shoulder is going to touch the floor, and then I'm going to look through my legs to my hand. The supporting arm, wherever you feel you need it, if you don't feel you need it, that's fine too. But chin's tucked, weight is in my shoulder, not my head. And I'm going to just lift my hips a little bit, shifting them towards my shoulder. And we'll release, unthread. This time, opposite arm. My left arm's going through, means my left shoulder touches the floor. And I tuck my chin to look to where my left hand is. This may be enough. If you want, shift your hips forward. Weight goes into the shoulder. Good. We're going to kick it up a notch. This time as the right arm goes through. Give you this. As the right arm goes through. Again, my chin is tucked. The weight's not on my head. 
My left arm is support. As I shift into the shoulder, maybe my knee lifts. If it's just the left knee, that's opposite knee to the shoulder, right shoulder down, left knee can lift. Again, my head isn't taking the weight. If I need support, my hand and shoulder do. Opposite side, left arm's diving through, left shoulder down. I'm gonna shift my hips forward so the weight goes into the shoulder, head is free right knee lifts. So I'm starting to go towards the back of the shoulder here. Good, unthread. Let's do another set. This time I'm going to raise both knees. So again, as I shift forward, chin's tucked, looking towards my right hand. Let's go left knee, if that's enough. Stop there. If you would like to add, both knees come up. So again, the weight is not in my head. It's in my shoulder and feet. And if I need support so I don't fall over, I have my hands. Down. And switch. Left hand's going through. Scoping it out, shifting forward. Right knee extends. Left knee extends. Again, the weight is in the left shoulder, not my head. And we'll come down. Good. Let's have a little fun with this. We'll do a few rolls to the side and rolls back. So this time, instead of going through, I'm going to go across. And just like a dog rolling over, I'm going to slide through, there's my shoulder, my knee starts to lift, and I'm just going to roll. Let's get back for you. I'm going to go back the same way, across, shoulder, as I start to kick, I'm tipping myself over, and roll. So I round my back a little bit as I'm going through, so I don't just plop flat. So I try to go nice and slow here. I'm thinking cat back and over. Let's see what we get with this one. Again, thread it, cat back, roll over. Thread it, cat back, roll over. Good. Let's get I'm gonna get a little crazy, but we'll wait a second. I'm gonna go into shoulder stands using a rock. So again, for now it's more about tucking my chin and having a base with my shoulders. I'm gonna use that next. So I'm gonna Let's do three rocks, so just round spine, a little lift at the top. We'll call that one number one. Really emphasize that kick up. Good. Now we're going to add a little shoulder stand type of pause using that kick. So as I rock back, I'm going to reach up. If you notice, as I'm in the back end, I'm going to press through my elbows, widening my base. So if you think, shoulder stand, here's my elbows. Dip and roll. So I don't have to hang out there forever. Just pause. I just want to build comfort being on the back of my shoulders. Not my head, not my neck. I'm on the shoulders. So ultimately, I should be able to look left and look right when I'm back there. So let's play with that. Find your comfort level. If you just want to pause and try to milk that upward position, the shoulder stand, feel free. Otherwise, pause, look, and look, tuck and roll. 
take this off for a second. Or, if you really want to pause, engage the elbows, support the lower back, and drive up. Coming down, round, and up. Good. So if you are good at plow pose, this one will be comfortabler to you. So instead of coming down on our necks from our shoulder stand, we're going to roll into sort of a plow pose, which is kind of what we did two seconds ago. So from this tabletop, I'm threading the needle through my legs, put my left shoulder down, and I'm going to tuck my chin even more. I'm looking up outside my hip, and we'll hang out here for a minute. Feel free to support the legs, support your body, but I'm actively lifting up so I'm not falling down on myself. Lifting to make the space. And we'll come down. Opposite side. Right arm goes through, right shoulder goes down. As I lift, I tuck my chin and I'm looking up to the ceiling outside my left hip. Again, I'm actively doing like a reverse crunch, reverse sit up, and looking up. I'm driving into the floor with my shoulder. And coming down. You can stay with this. Otherwise, we're going to try to walk our feet around to the opposite side. So we're going to switch shoulders. Again, if you're familiar with plow, we're going from this modified threaded needle, if you will, through plow to the other shoulder, modified. Winging it, so we'll see what happens. Which way would be the best way? Probably like this, so here we go. As I go right shoulder through, I'm looking. I'm going to walk my feet nice and slow. Finding my plow pose. And I'm going to keep going. I'm now looking at the other shoulder. Hips come down and I come out. Let's try this knee for you guys. We'll go with the same side first. I'm going to go right hand in, right shoulder down. So this is the path to my left. This is where my feet are going to walk. So I'm looking at my left hip. My feet walk, actively reaching up, finding my plow pose, keep walking. I'm looking up to the right, and my head slides out. Don't do it if it feels terrible, if the flexibility of your neck isn't there, and you're not actively pressing your hips towards the ceiling. So I'm pressing the floor with my shoulder and lifting my hips opposite directions. One's up, ass up, head down. Aye, aye, aye. Good. So, that was right shoulder first. Now we're gonna go left shoulder. And give that a whirl. Left shoulder comes in. Again, I can raise one knee, raise the other. And how do I get to plow? I walk my feet to my right. Chin is tucked. Plow. Keep going with the feet. Knees come down, head comes out. Let's see this one. That was the left, going left again. We did two right, we're doing two left. Left shoulder. Don't go forward until the weight is in the shoulder. And then I lift up. Feet to the right. Feet go to the right. My head is now out the left side. As the weight is in the shoulder, I pop out. 
Alrighty. So that is a nice slow way. We can add a little bit of momentum. This also takes some of the flexibility requirements out of it. But it's a little more risky that you go flying and flop over to the side. So on and so forth. But because we built that familiarity of going slow, we're going to add that to the mix. So the only difference here now is when I walk my feet through plow, they're not going to actually touch the ground. I'm going to swing my feet through and we'll give that a shot. So same as before, I'm going to go right shoulder first, my knees lift. So before we walked, I'm just going to swing and topple over, like I said. So game, game plan is to not topple over. I'm going to walk, swing, and come back. You fall over, you fall over. What I like to do to help stop is my arm comes up to widen my base um, when I'm upside down. You're going to have a good side, you're going to have a bad side. If you never did this before, just tuck your chin, you, you roll over, you roll over. Clear the space, and let's play. So let's do a few. I'm going to give you a handful of minutes, and we'll talk through it. So I'm going right shoulder, chin tucks. As I walk my feet, they're floating, and I come through. I'm going to reset. I'm going to go right shoulder. Yeah, let's try this way. I'm basically going to my plow pose, my feet swing through, and I come out. We can kind of tap dance our way through if you're not having fun and you're not getting it, but you had the previous step. So, right shoulder through. What do I mean by that? So, as I come through, I'm just going to float, touch. Float, touch. Left shoulder's doing the work. Head comes out. And the worst case, I'll show you, not the worst case, but in terms of I don't know what to do, things are going, going wrong, you're here. Chop and roll up. All right, so let's do one more with the right shoulder and then we'll switch sides. Again, you can go slow, work that balance through the middle. So, wide base, I'm gonna grab goal post arms, floating through. The weight is across my shoulders. Feet are up, if I need to touch, I can touch. I need to abort, I'm gonna roll out. And up. Good. Since we're here, we'll start doing the left. First we'll walk just to kind of reprogram our brains of what we're doing here. And it's right in reverse. So left shoulder comes down. Again, the weight's not in my head. I tuck my chin, look into the ceiling. One knee, two knee. As I walk into plow pose, I walk out. Again, head's free. Come up. And we'll go again, going around the clock. You can start to try to float. You can go slow. One knee, two knees, widen my base. And come up. We'll give this a few more tries. Have some fun. You fall over, who cares? Left shoulder, knees up, weight is in the shoulder, across the back, one knee, two knee, and up. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, 
three. One more, and then we'll do something a little more fun and less crazy. Good. So, kind of a mild version of this, and kind of fun. I'll sit wide-legged stance. I'm gonna cup behind my knees. I'm using that cat back. I'm gonna rock back. This is our little fun interlude. As I rock back, I'm gonna rock up and chop down. So as I go, I can start to go to my right shoulder. Think of that plow and come back. Shoulder and up. Shoulders kicking across and up. And some of the in the past weeks, we kind of rolled and did this chop. It's the same idea, just holding my legs to keep me in a little ball. And like a little eggy, I roll through. Well, this will help with the other move, is I kick, kick. A little bit of the programming. As you get smooth with this, and you're having fun, you can start to see it's the same thing. I can come up on my shoulders, and on the back of my neck. Chin's tucked. So let's do this. We'll go around once. So in a perfect situation, perfect world, I roll over and I'm 180, facing the opposite direction. And we'll go again, 180, opposite direction. Now I'm gonna roll to my left shoulder Boom, and come over, boom, and come over. So let's go left to right, left to right. So we're kind of rocking back and forth the same pattern. So if I'm here, I'm gonna go right shoulder down, rocking back, rewind, left shoulder, right shoulder. So let's do that a few times. As you feel the desire, you can start to go more onto your shoulders and less on your back. So you can think of climbing it. So I'm going to go low spine, low spine, mid back, mid back, upper back, upper back. Now across the shoulders, and across the shoulders. Find what's fun for you. And you'll feel lift, kick, and pull. So you're using your legs into your hands to help you come around. You can use that kick to come up onto your shoulders. And go. Good. So. Let's. Let's try the same thing. I was going to try to go forward rolls and backwards roll, but in the interest of time and uniformity, let's, for fun, take this grip. I'm not going to interlace my fingers. I'm just going to cup them over each other. That way, if I need to abort, I can pull my hands apart and change my plan. I'm going to come back to that, thread the needle into our roll. But this time, I'm going to use my elbows and keep them wide. Again, you may fall to the side. I may fall to the side. Who cares? We're experimenting and we're trying, trying new things and having fun. So, hands up. I'm going to thread my elbow through. Puts me on my shoulder. I'm going to walk through, swing, and roll. 
and I'll alternate sides here. So if I want shoulder through, I'm on the back, I can make my base swing and roll. So those two, that's the abort strategy. You're coming into a forward roll. I come here. I start to come through. And I'm not turning over. I'll just roll up. Now I'm going to milk it. We're going to go nice and slow. Send the left shoulder through. Come into my plow pose. Again, if I need to release my hands, that's fine. Walk it through. I'm going to go right shoulder. Plow. Swing. And come out. Left shoulder. A little more challenging. And so here, I might need the space, so I release my fingers, swing my feet, and help myself come out. One. Two. Three. Shoulders. My elbows are my base. Swing through. Lower my hips. Come on up. Base. Swing through. And one more each side. Chins tucked. Shoulder. Cross the base. Swing. Knee hips down. Head up. One, two, three. A little rough, but it gets there. And practice will make better. So that was fun there. Let's start our little quick cool down. We'll come to our tabletop position. Do a little knee hand rocking. So, child's pose, if you will. I'm gonna grip through the floor, pulling, hinging down to a little cobra, pressing up, and sending it back. Shifting forward, cobra, peel our way down, peel our way up, and shifting back. One more. I'll do a little variation for three more. This time it won't cover. We'll just think of like a torpedo. I'm going to drive forward, try to keep my back straight, and press back. For one, and this will be two, and three. Let's do four. On the fourth one, I'm going to come into an up dog. So if I'm firing straight forward, I'm going to press and lift the chest. So my thighs are lifted. You don't have to. You could do a little cobra if you like. And then I'll peel back, finding a downward facing dog. Toes tuck underneath. And we'll just wave to our plank and back. Rounding the spine, shifting forward. And pressing back, hips lift. One. For two. And for three. We'll drop the knees. Find our way back to a kneeling position. 
And for funsies, coming down to a wide-legged seated position. Let's inhale up. Exhale, fold down the middle. And try to drive through the back so my chest comes forward, not just my shoulders. And let's walk to the left foot. Same thing, I'm gonna correct and aim the chest. Staying low, crossing through center. Take a little breath here. And crossing over to the right. Consciously thinking of the chest coming forward. If that means I float up a little, that's fine. Coming back through center. Again, chest forward, folding down. Feeling our way up, we'll come into a side bend. Left arm towards the left foot, right arm up and over. Looking up through that right armpit. I can hook inside the thigh with my elbow to twist me over and open up towards the ceiling more. We'll do a little dip and flow through center. Opposite side. Again, I like to hook inside the knee with my elbow and come up. If that's not in your range, use your hand. Uh, twist and press. Over time, you start to melt down towards the thigh. Let's do one more each side. As it opens up, I'm going to dip and switch. Dip and switch. You can also take the bottom armor out of it so you're not driving and doing too much work. And I just cross the body with it or leave it down. I'm going to roll through center once more, so I'm going to turn to face the knee, staying as low as I can. Crawling my way to the opposite side. Floating up, bringing my feet together. Butterfly pose. Butterfly legs. We'll flap them. I'm gonna cup under the toes. Pull forward through the chest. And fold. We'll come up. If it's in your practice, we're going to dive underneath, cup the feet, and then fold this way. You might notice the feet start to get away from you. That's fine. It brings you a little bit closer. You can always scoot them back, rewrap, and fold down. Release that, let's send the legs long, take the right hand, cross the legs, and open up for a twist. And we'll just flow through that, so I'm going to cross the body with the left, reaching back with the right. Crossing with the right, reaching with the left. Crossing with the left, reaching with the right. We'll do two more, but this time instead of just coming forward, we're going to reach up and over. Up and over like you're swimming, and then reach back. Up and over like you're swimming, and then reach back. Swim it. And back. Swim it. And back. Forward fold. Inhale and coming on up. And we'll take three deep breaths. We normally sweep the arms. Let's tie. This time we'll just let the hands be heavy on our knees. 
and let them weight them down. Just encourage them to go further away, opening up the hips, shoulder stack over the hips. And I think belly fills up, chest fills up, throat, and then we'll release throat, chest, belly empties, and then cycling back belly, chest, throat, and empty, throat, chest, belly. This time as we fill belly, chest, and throat, try not to lift the shoulders, you're going to just let them all relax down. Inhale a little sip more, and we're going to hold. And then release nice and slow. Think of the shoulders melting down, chest sinks, belly falls down and up. And we'll do one glorious sweep in. And exhale coming on down. Alright, thanks guys for participating. Hope you enjoyed that. And stay tuned for more.